A Denver woman goes to retrieve her Christmas decorations from a storage locker and finds them covered in mold. And the story only gets worse as it goes on. Contact 7th Lance Hernandez is asking questions about what happened and who's responsible. Lance? Jacqueline, Tom, Krista McLeod has been storing clothing, small appliances, a valuable record collection, and all her Christmas decorations inside a locker at public storage at 21st and Blake since 2015. When she went to retrieve her decorations Tuesday, she was shocked to learn that water had somehow gotten into her locker. So I would normally have my Christmas tree right here. I have our little stockings hanging right here. Crystal McLeod will have to look at photographs to remember what her decorations looked like. When she went to retrieve them from her public storage locker Tuesday, she found them covered in mold. There was putrid standing water at the bottom of this container. I have a lot of emotions going on right now. She says she contacted the manager and was told they couldn't do anything because she didn't have insurance. That shocked her. She said she was told when she first rented the locker that you can't rent without it. So I asked them, well, when did you drop my insurance? What happened? Why wasn't I notified? And that's when everything just went crazy. <laughs> McLeod took us to her locker to show what she was talking about. She opened a box of music albums. Yep, look, look. Molded, wet, look at that. A friend tried to pry a jacket open. But the album will not even open from the water being stuck to it. We asked the on-duty manager if there had been some kind of flood. She said she couldn't talk to the media. She did tell Ms. McLeod that a certified letter notifying her of the insurance termination was sent after she fell behind in rent. But that letter came back undeliverable. I reached out to the district manager to ask if the fire sprinkler system malfunctioned and to ask what happens if McLeod wasn't formally notified about the insurance termination. No response yet. McLeod just wants her children to enjoy Christmas, especially her developmentally disabled son. All he can do is sit and, you know, look at the lights and, and he finds enjoyment out of that. Now, Ms. McLeod admits that she's fallen behind in rent a few times, but has always caught up. She is current on her bills right now. Now, I've left both phone and email messages for the district manager. Have yet to hear back. Once we do, we will update this story. Back to you.